Hey everybody, Bear Pigman here. Uh, only gonna be me tonight. Polelco is taking the week off. Uh, did some work stuff. So I figured while he's off, I am going to go ahead and get on some of this uh, VR Worlds. Now, I've been playing a little bit of this. Um, here, let me uh, get myself into camera view here. Um, I've been playing a little bit of this. I've been messing around with the VR, PSVR stuff on my own. And um, this one, particularly the heist game, I found I've had the most fun with. Um, but I am going to have to... Uh, one kind of downfall to doing this is I am going to have absolutely no idea what the hell chat is saying. So for at least a little while, I uh, kind of bear with any technical issues we might have. It is only me working tonight. Um, so actually, I might be able to uh, get a little bit of uh, use out of my phone uh, to briefly check chat here and there. But for the most part, it's uh, just going to be me fucking around in uh, this virtual world. So, um, give me one second. Just. Alright. So I think I might be able to check my phone periodically. And don't worry, everything that you guys see is going to be recorded. Hey, Max and Ziggy, thanks a lot for coming out. So, again, for this entire stream... Uh, expect me to basically be, uh, completely blind as to, uh, what Chad is saying, discussing, or anything of the sort. Now, where the fuck did I put that? Alright. So, PlayStation VR, it's actually not all that tough to use, but, um, so what you want to do for this is, uh, I'm going to get this headset off first. That comes at the very end. You want to pull, get your head in. Get that relatively adjusted, crank a couple of times, slide, well I'm going to slide that in as the very last thing, I'm going to get these headphones are um, kind of on, I, I think it plans to work more with uh, like your, your more standard, um, it tends to work with your more standard like earbud headphones but uh, if I do that it will completely cut sound off to the uh, stream which so far it looks like stream yeah stream still getting sound all right cool uh, now next thing I'm gonna do is uh, all right so far it looks like the angle is pretty good I'm gonna turn these two guys on because we will definitely need these uh, during the high segment and let's go ahead and pair the both of these and let's get started with this PlayStation VR world while I get the rest of this gear set up here. So PlayStation VR Worlds was a game that I almost returned about four or five times because, you know, it's basically just a gigantic tech demo. Uh, let me go. So the last thing you want to do is slide these things into place, which completely now locks your, uh, locks your head in. Let me lean forward to get that. And now I'm, it's going to give me a little stupid, hey, everybody, uh... A direct look into my apartment as I fuck around with these things do a little stupid rave party and let's give that the all clear so this thing I initially um, I was going to return it because it was like a $30 tech demo and all you're really getting in return is a couple of little games and I thought oh, okay maybe I'll change it in for either Color Splash or Eve Valkyrie or something like that but I'm really glad I stuck with this because one of the games on this is uh, the most I've ever laughed at any fucking game uh, I I've had. And there are some pretty cool VR titles that i played so far. I'm going to be doing uh, the new Until Dawn Rush of Blood uh, tomorrow with uh, Ray and Chris. But um, for right now, uh, ooh, there's going to be a big cinematic scene here of a light, a Harry Potter light coming towards us and it's going to illuminate and ooh, how... Wonderful. I can't lose the controller because I think I actually needed to navigate the menu. It, it wants you to use both. Like, you can't just use the move or the controller. You gotta have both. You either gotta have these two fucking, like, things clacking around your hands, feeling like fucking handcuffs. And let me take a look at the TV. 
And okay, so yeah, it is tracking my my dumb my dumb head movement. Um, Christ, I cannot hear shit out of my headphones, but whatever, completely worth it. Oh no, it went over there with the. Yeah, you know, I played a couple of these games. I still don't know what the fuck that one is over there. It kind of looks like a guy holding a giant guitar. Uh, there's the space one, which I'll be honest with you. Of all these games, I've only played about three of them. I did the Shark Encounter, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's one we're going to be playing, Dong Toucher Simulator. So I'm just going it, to... It's a wonderful, amazing... It's a great, big, beautiful world that we live in. It's a small world after all those Disney songs. Hooray. Uh, let's jump in. So, here's what we got. Ocean Descent. Danger Ball! Uh, that's the one we're gonna be doing, but let's go VR Luge, Scavenger's Odyssey, and yeah, so here's one we really want. We want the London Heist. Uh, and we want to do that with two motion controllers right here. It is extremely important that we play this uh, with these two. So, um, let's get going to set these up I really hope it hit me with the tutorial and uh, not jumping back in all right oh, I want to recenter myself okay so then look it actually did take me to the tutorial okay so oh I have a problem and that problem is that it's reading my hands is backwards let's uh, fix that I don't know why that is I thought I definitely clicked on the second one first but or the, the second one second and the first one first and apparently there's no quick way to retract that but this should um oh there we go all right so, uh, it actually tracks relatively well. Um, it kind of looks like you have Parkinson's, but, uh, so what you can do is you can, uh, recreate your favorite scenes from Evangelion by, uh, kind of judging how hard that you hold in the trigger there. Or you can just go flip flapping all over the place, and sometimes it causes weird glitches to happen if you do that, like, it kind of looks like, uh, you know, I'm trying to do one of those immature fifth grade things of... Uh, here's the church, here's the people, open it up, and here's all the- we can actually do that? Here's the church, here's the steeple, open it up, and here's all the people. So you can take things like cold hands, you can, uh, you can go do your favorite game of Soda Drinker, uh, Pro. Uh, you could drop the can in the tray, but, well, it doesn't exactly track that all that well. Or that. You can kind of fuck around with this thing a little bit, and maybe it's because I'm not, I'm sitting relatively far away, but, um, so here's the beauty of VR right here, is that you can, uh, really just, uh, you know, that's the, this is, this is, you, this is VR, this is the future. It's like I'm really littering in real life. Well, right, let's see if we can bang shot this one. Apparently not. Almost. Oh, and you can also, if you want, just like throw from one hand to the other. Kind, kind of, kind of throw from one hand to the other. It's. You can also kind of will it to come back to you if you want. And again, if you kind of do this with two hands at the same time, it kind of makes some funky things happen. <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's quarter this. Alright, so the bounce mechanics on this can are that good, so I'll just, I'll just do that. Oh, here's the fun thing right here. We can pick up a gun if we want to. And... So what they want you to do is do kind of like a two-handed thing of load a magazine, go pop heavy. Uh, but you don't necessarily have to do it that way. You can also uh, do things like 
All right, that somehow got it in. Or you don't even have to, you could just hold your hand up here. Or, and now you're, um, now you're playing in Smash Brothers. Come on. Whoop. Whoa, okay, that's a new one for me. Apparently you can re-put in a one, one that just uh, was going the wrong way. It just kind of whoop. Or if you're holding it the wrong way, it just kind of whoop. All right, so now let's take this guy out. Let's shoot the target. And now you gotta drop the gun in the in the tray and to drop. You just gotta hold uh, that. Or if it's something you don't have to get a really good grip on, you just let go. You can also do uh, dumb, crazy things like this. And if you do it just right, I can... A farewell to arms. Whoa. Porch! Alright, but that's not what we came here for, is it? That, that's only messing around with the gun. We came here to do something much, much better. Uh, we came here...